Hello everyone, I'm Rodney from 3DGameMan.com and I thought I'd give you a heads up on this. This is Fantex's new Enthu Pro M case. It's the Acrylic Window Edition. Remember the Enthu Pro? Awesome case. I did a actually video review on that. I'll link you to it. Wicked, wicked case. So this is the Acrylic Window Edition. So of course it comes with an acrylic window. Duh. Let's have a look here. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. We'll get back to that and more pictures in just a minute. But let me get through this first. So full acrylic window, front and top brush aluminum, look panels, and innovative radiator bracket. The I.O. port now resides on the side of the front panel, creating a simple but elegant design without the cost. You have here an innovative re top radiator bracket to allow easy installation of radiators and or fans. Uh, as well, a new hard drive mounting system that can support multiple storage with the optional hard drive bracket. And you've got design for water cooling in mind, multiple uh, reservoir and pump mounting locations. So with that being said, let's just move on here and have a closer look at it. Beautiful looking case. I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty much the Anthu Pro, right? Except it has that nice full acrylic acrylic panel there on the left side dimensions 495 by 510 by 235 millimeters there it is kind of half taken apart dust filters all kinds of support here for cooling great airflow in this by the way and great as well lots of space for cable management just an, just an excellent case overall let me just zoom in here, go through the specs. The dimensions we've been through, of course, is a mid-tower case comprised of plastic and steel. You can have an EATX board in this, ATX, micro ATX, mini ITX, two USB 3 ports. you got the audio jacks, as well as a reset and power button. Uh, you've got seven expansion slots. You can fit up to, looks like, eight internal three and a half inch drives, but uh, two included, so uh, you can get optional uh, accessories to install more internal. You can fit, it looks like, th oh, three inside. Uh, looks like there's one included, the brackets that is. Cooling, you can have at the front two 120 millimeter fans, three without the optical disc drive or ODD a cage at the top. That's cool that you can remove that, right? Um, two as well, 140s at the front, at the top, three 120s at the top as well, three, uh, sorry, two 140s. The rear, one 120 or one 140, and they include a, it looks like a 140 at the rear and a uh, another 140 at the front of the case, so that's good. And by the way, that's my phone. In any case, uh, yeah, we'll get back to this. A liquid cooling, uh, let me see here, at the front, you can have up to a 360, Front up to a 280 if it's a 140. Or, you know, you're gonna see the dimensions here on the screen. Uh, top 360 as well. Same. Top 280. That's awesome. Uh, the rear 120 or 140. Uh, as for the fans, I'm not gonna go through the specs and that you can read it. Clearance, video card, lots of clearance here for video cards. Uh, plenty of length, 420 millimeters. But, uh, and without the uh, hard drive brackets installed. It's well with the hard drives and brackets installed. Of course, it's going to be limited. Without, it's going to be going to give you a lot of space. Cooler height. That's crazy, right? 194. Usually, it's 160, 170. Sometimes 180, 190, maybe. But 194 is a lot of height here for uh, that cooler. Lots of space for cable management. 25 millimeters behind the tray. That's awesome. Power supply length 318 millimeters. Excellent. So there you have it. Sweet looking variant, right, of the uh, original Anthu Pro case. I like it. And speaking of like, if you like this video, thumb it up, subscribe to the channel, remember to share, and if you have a question for me, please post it and I'll get to it as soon as possible. <laughs>